hey what's up everybody welcome to my channel and today's in this video i'm going to show you how you can boost your fps fix fps drops and stutters in overwatch 2 with your any low-end pc or laptop so guys welcome to my channel and if this is your first time here so please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification and watch this complete video because in this video i'm gonna share with you some best method by using that you can boost your pc performance for the overwatch 2 so let's start over this video so guys in the first step you need to download this overwatch 2 fps boost pack by ripex on your pc link available down in the description open up the link from description that will take you on to this website scroll down and there you will find out this download button and also read this some instruction there is some pop-up available onto this website so once you click on this download button a uh, pop ad will open in the new tab but make sure to download the uh, pack from the media file click on this download button and download this file on your pc once you download it now it's time to extracting it you can extract it by using the seven zip or the winrar so double tap here and drag this folder here on your desktop you will get this kind of the folder with the overwatch 2 fps boost pack double tap here and here you will got bunch of file like the overwatch 2 high priority registry optimization then windows optimization the gaming optimization and some programs which you can use to optimize your pc so first open up this first option which is the overwatch high priority registry files and here you will find out these two files by default your settings is for the normal but i suggest if you have a good pc then go with the high priority and if you have a low end pc then you can go with the Madden pc like for example if you have the 4 gb of the ram then you can go with the mad priority but if you have the 8 gb or the 16 gb then go with the high priority so double tap here click yes click yes again and click ok once you're done now you need to go back into the main directory of your boost pack and open up the second folder which is the windows optimization double tap here and here you will find out disable game bar and the disable game dvr and the disable window unnecessary services these are most important registry again double tap here and simply install this registry file on your pc it is really simple to installation and if you want to revert it guys i suggest to create a restore point before doing any of these kind of settings so now again go back into the main directory and here is our third folder which is the gaming optimization and here you will find out your system responsiveness disable gpu power saving and increase your power efficiency and the optimization for your cpu now double tap here and install again all this registry file because this will work for your any pc or laptop for your every single hardware or component of your pc or laptop for improving your performance so once you install all of this registry files uh, from this folder now here is our next folder and the last option which is the programs so open up this folder and here you will find out these two application first is the msi mode utility and second is the power control for your cpu to unlocking all the uh, potential of your cpu cores so now right click and make sure to run this file as the administrator then click yes and you will get this kind of the interface now what you need to do you need to find out here your gpu a name or the gpu model from this list like i have the nvidia geforce rtx 3070 so here is the name you need to select it go for the msi option or this column and you need to check mark onto this box go for the interrupt priority and set it on to the high then hit apply and close out this application now go for the power control this is one of the best software i already use whenever i install windows or every single one i suggest to use this software on your pc it will also create a best power plan and also help you to uh, unlocking all your cpu core or the potential so click on this next button and install this software on your pc i have already installed it it is really simple so here is the software running in my background now how to use it once you get this interface click on this drop down and select out the bit some high performance power plan from here and disable all of the settings once you disable it now click on this apply button and it will apply this new settings on your pc now click ok go for this option which is the bit some dynamic boost enable check mark onto this box click on this drop down and again select the bit some highest performance hit ok hit ok again and the software will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your pc and also help you to getting more performance so now in the next step guys i'm going to show you how you can optimize your windows settings so in the first step press windows r together from your keyboard you will get this kind of the window or the run window then you need to type here gpedit.msc click ok now you need to go for the administrative template find out windows component app privacy and find out here let's window app run in the background double tap here 
you will get this kind of window enable the settings go for default for all app and set it on to the force deny hit apply and click ok and close out this local group policy editor once you're done now again you need to press windows out together from your keyboard and now you need to type here ms config and press enter you will get this system configurations window go for the boot option go for the advanced option check mark onto the number of processor click on this drop down menu and select the maximum number which you have available into this list now click ok hit apply and click ok again and it will ask you for restarting your pc but you don't need to restart it now once you're done with the settings now it's time to guys go for your windows settings so go for your windows star icon and go straight into your windows settings once you are here you need to go for your display settings and find out here this graphics option click on the graphics option go for the browser option and add here your overwatch exe file or the launcher file into this list then click on your launcher file and click onto the high performance and save the settings once you're done with your settings of your windows now you need to simply one time restart your pc then launch your overwatch 2 and you will get insane performance out of your any low-end pc or laptop so i hope so you love it so please make sure to subscribe and tell me in the comment section how much performance you got after doing all the settings or the optimization on your pc so thanks for watching this video and till the next video peace out